guys, what's going on? So today we have gotten Pillow a new cage and we are going to build it and put, put him in. We've had him in this small cage for a while and we had our reasons for keeping him in there, which I'll go into later. But for right now, let's get the new cage put together and get him moved in. We bought the Preview Hendrix SPF 063 Divided Flight Cage in black. And we found this on Amazon for about $49 and the link is below. What's going on, birds? Are we about to set up something for you? Right here. For pillow. You want to help? Uh -huh. You want to pull stuff out? Watch your feet. Oh, it just folds right out. It comes with the gun water dishes in first cage. It's good to see it's all kind of connected, most of it. Simple one page instructions. It looks like these. Oh, wait. Oh, that's how it goes. Okay. Oh, oh, I know why it does this. Why? It does this so that when you pull it up like this, it won't close. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. yeah. That's so it good. can stay open. Oh, I don't know what this is for. Now. So, this is the divider, but we don't need it for pillow right now. So, we're going to so gonna put it over there with Pearl's divider. Yeah, Pearl has a divider too. Yeah. <laughs> Everything put together, or all yeah, oh, it slides in. Oh, okay. Yeah, it slides. Yeah, so we it comes with four perches, but the perches don't actually fit unless you have the divider in place. So they're only half as big as the cage. Right, they're only half as big as the cage, so they would go into the divider between them. So what we can do is, fortunately, we have some screw and perches that you can actually put in, and you can also put them at a diagonal. We'll just have to get creative with our... We'll have to get creative, but there's enough punches. It'll work. So we'll figure something out for the long term with it right now. And they also come with four food and water dishes, because I think this cage is for two birds. That's why it had the divider, with, which would have two perches for one bird and two perches for the other, and two for one bird and two for the other. Like, this is food and water, food and water. And then two perches for each bird that's in the cage. And also something that's pretty cool is when you just do this, it just slides down. Like, like it, it, you can just push it down and or push it back. Yeah, so you just push it back and it goes down. <laughs> Same thing with the well, other it's one. Gonna stay, it stays open. Yeah, it also it stays open. You just let it go, go in and out of whenever you want. Yeah. So here's one of Pillows' old perches that we're gonna stick. Somewhere. Yeah, maybe like right there, maybe. And then we're also going to put a bunch of his toys that we have in this cage already. So we'll, we'll probably put some of his old toys and some new ones. Yeah. Oh, Pillow, you have no idea that this is for you, do you? Just chilling up there, minding your own business. <laughs> and this is Pillow's one of his most favorite toys. So every time we change out the toys. We always keep this one in because he likes this one. It's also because of the reflection on the disco ball. And also the bell. He likes bells a lot. Here we have like so two other toys, like a rainbow ball one. And we have this one, like silverware wind chimes kind of thing. Love that silverware to me. Yeah, he likes that one too. That's not as much as this one though. This is still his favorite. Yeah, sure. Okay, so now we are going to be putting all of Pillow's little figurey toys in over here and we'll have right there. Hey Pillow has just realized that we're, we're taking apart his cage. He's saying, where's all, where are all my toys going? This is for you, Chikaroo. This is all for you. Oh yeah, see that? There we go. Yeah, he, does, he, does, he likes to do that a lot. And for some reason, he likes to get the little thing that he can yeah, ooh. And sometimes he can suck the belt and get it too hard. Wow! Look at you doing! Look at your new place! Look at that! He had these familiar 
your poise in there, I think you'll immediately recognize this. this is All right, line in the bottom. This is our birds' shavings that they have on the bottom. They are these aspen shavings, the aspen wood shavings. Now he actually has room to fly in his cage. It does. That's why we created it. There's a lot more tall where he can like climb, but this one is a lot more wider where he can fly a lot more. Right. If he wants. So like we said before, the perches that came with the cage are only half as long as the cage. The divider has to be in in order for those perches to fit. So we've moved over some of Pillow's perches from his old cage. There's a suspended perch, there's his rope perch, and we took one of his old perches and put it at a diagonal in the corner. This obviously is not enough perches right now, but we're going to put him in and just see how he feels, let him get adjusted to it, and in the meantime, we're going to look for some bigger, better, longer perches that will fit the length and width of this cage. Now, perches that are uneven are better for your bird's feet. Um, this suspended perch that we have and also the rope perch, they're very groovy and bumpy and they're not straight and flat, and this helps prevent your bird from getting arthritis. Most of the perches that come with bird cages are straight and flat, and in Pillow's old cage, and in Pearl's cage as well, we actually whittled those perches down so they resembled more natural wood. There's bumps and grooves in there that they did not come with. And we're thinking about getting another long rope perch as well, and that's the rope perches are very long and they can go through the middle of the cage and hook on either side. What is this? Pillow's new cage. You'll be seeing the side of this a lot. <laughs> Alright, should we move this over? <laughs> Alright, well here's your new cage pillow. Oh, it's for you. That's your own new cage. You don't understand it's for him. Should we just wait for him to come in on his own? Will he go inside in a second? Daddy's getting you some food. So this is a cage is actually meant for two birds. It's a breeder cage with that divider that we set aside over there. Um, but this is all for pillow. Probably like three times more space than now these are the plastic food and water dishes that came with the cage. Stainless steel is actually what's best. The plastic ones can get a bacterial buildup after a while, uh, but we do wash ours all the time, almost daily. Let's see if this stick works. Okay. Stick is what always got Pillow into his old cage. Come here, Pillow. Okay. I think you might not understand about the doors. Maybe, can you get them on your hand yeah. and show them? Here. Can step up? Oh. This is your new cage. Look. Look. It's okay. Look. Look. It's all your stuff. This is just for very temporary. Here's the old cage. And here's the new cage. Longer, flatter on top. The old cage. New cage. This one's a taller cage, but it's there's the base of it. It's got all this extra space now. 
So we've had him in this cage and we bought it at the same time that we bought him and we knew it was a little on the small side. We have gotten a lot of comments on the channel about his old cage being too small, but we knew he was going to be spending most of his time outside of the cage. So we didn't consider it a dire emergency that he'd be in a much bigger cage because Basically, we just open the door every morning and just let him come and go as much as he wanted. Now, this year, ever since school started a few weeks ago, Brendan has been doing online schooling at home. And because of that, we've had to keep the birds caged longer than normal in the morning. So because we've had to keep them locked up a little longer, we figured now is the time to get Pillow a new cage and give him a little more room to move around. So Pillow actually seems to be falling asleep right now. He seems very comfortable in his new home. So I think we're going to call it a day and let him have some rest. We will be doing a full cage tour for Pillow and Pearl coming up. And we, as I said earlier in the video, we're going to try to get some better, longer, bigger perches for this cage that actually fit the entire width of the cage. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.